Oh, really? That's a big win. Lee Linty's a super good player. Congrats to Karen on that. Okay, so we've got uh, World Collide versus Coda. Uh, Oakhorn is Karen's deck, correct? Showing up on the first page of Google might not be the yeah. best for everyone. But for business, so we've got. Oh my gosh, these dogs are killing me. Double Garcia, Double Eddie, Neutron Shark, Igor, Cutthroat Research, Tau Tau, just Double Kirby, super, super solid, a Worlds Collide stuff there. Nature's Call goes great with all of that. Um, probably a little bit weaker on the Untamed side, except you do have like the Harmonia, you've got the Mustic Murmook, so you do have some of those good like play or when played effects that can help, especially with the Nature's Call, Grasping Vines. Pretty decent uh, artifact control, but you also have the Neutron Shark and stuff. Sweet. Let me get in there. Who's doing this KFPL5? We really need it to be this secure. All right. Super excited. All right. We're going to... Every time wrong stupid one what okay my laptop has the like alts and uh the functions or whatever because it like has those keys that do two different things and so i always end up hitting control f11 instead of function f11 so it just like downsizes everything i have hands are on for spectators are they cool with that I just want to make sure. Okay. I haven't done this with open hands before, so this might be a bit of a mess again. Uh, I gotta remember to scroll on things. Uh, so Riku looking at uh, Sting early, not huge deal against Karen who has the Grasping Vines. Uh, does Mulligan there, ends up with some more Shadows again. Karen's got some Star Alliance and some Untamed here. Uh, very nice Terror turn one though. Are they both Team Swindle? <laughs> oh hey, that is totally true. I'm just gonna mute my own. Uh, webcam because you don't need to see me for this good catch on that red train all right uh, and obviously they both know their decks really well so they're gonna play fast just like they normally do uh i'm gonna cover up the time limit mix well let's do it like this um going back into this here just getting out that dust imp and playing the terror um my guess is setting that up for our relentless whispers next turn on the dust imp just to kind of get things going and again karen didn't have any amber there anyways so not really worth trying to do the shadow stealing here uh fast star alliance into lay of the land there looks like a pretty good call with uh the kirby and stuff in hand only action though is that perilous wilds which doesn't really do anything in this situation but i wonder probably not worth holding against uh, Riku's deck here. It does kill the Drumble though, so we'll see if Karen decides to hold it. Nope, just plays it for the Amber. Uh, so Riku looking pretty short on creature control. Um, yeah, very quick. The, the fastest game I think I've ever seen was... Uh, I think it was Aurora versus Karen. Or Aurora versus Noctana. I can't remember who it was, but it was for one of the um, KFPL qualifiers, and it was just like... Oh, I, I was sitting here like trying to act like a, um, what's the word? Uh, auctioneer or something like it was crazy fast, but really good game. So we do see the shadows call there with the relentless whispers hitting the, um, dust imp like we saw. And we do see a discard on the sting, which makes sense. There's plenty of uh, artifact control here and you want to just get this key forged if you can. Yeah, they both play like really fast. So it was just like 
And it was like Genka decks, like some of their like most well-known decks. Like it was, it was crazy. Uh, going back into Starlines here, not really much of a hand for it, but I don't think you're really worried about that because this Logos is going to slow uh, Riku's deck down so hard whenever you actually want to play it. We do have the control of the weak in hand now, and with the phase shift, we might just see that come out to try and force this key through. Um, calling Untamed would be the obvious choice there to kind of just push that, but we'll see if that's the way he decides to go. Um, goes with the... Tw oh no, the Twin Bolt is... Because you called Logo, so Twin Bolt is just going out to hit those wards. Do control the weak into Untamed, so should see that key going through here now uh probably just harmonia and a couple reaps harmonia probably not doing much in this matchup riku's deck is not planning to play a lot of creatures except for the dust timps oh man i should have looked at this deck more <laughs> i only got through karen's deck uh four dust timps with four relentless whispers is just like so much amber that's each time you hit a dust imp with relentless whispers it's four amber including one steel uh, so that's pretty disgusting. Uh, a couple phase shifts, Neurosiphon, and the Control of the Weeks. We do have a gateway to disc, so there are actually some answers to this if you can keep those wards down. It does need that win, but again, we do have uh, the gateway there. A um, couple light or lights out, some other things. Yeah. I should probably stop saying who this is the favored match because <laughs> this level i honestly probably am not great at it it'd be really good for me to get better if i'm going to do more casts like this especially um i think these these coded decks though i honestly just don't have great experience with the high level coded decks uh which is probably a big reason why i lost last night in my nkfl matches against uh bhawk brought some really good coded decks and the only like couple coded decks i owned were garbage <laughs> So I just don't have as much experience with these, which, I mean, there's not a ton to know about them, except just gain a bunch of Amber and win. Um, Worlds Collide usually has some of the best control tools for beating Coda, but again, that when that gateway comes down, will probably determine a lot of how this matchup goes. And those control the weeks, uh, as we saw, calling untamed on those control the weeks can almost always force a key so we'll just see if uh, riku has the efficiency for those to be optimal plays do see the logos call here uh from karen we'll see if we get just the, all of this dumped out or if we're gonna hold on to some of these things get a nature's call off the igor discarding garcia and plasmate see one eddie come down second eddie is also coming down the archive the untamed here and the hapsis we can see no gateway on riku's side we do have uh the lights out relentless whispers but you don't have anything to steal right now so might just go into a logos turn do some bouncing with the lights out get some information on your opponent's hand oh just goes for the relentless whispers even though there's nothing to steal i guess that means this molfin doesn't proc but it's not a huge deal here kills the harmonia with that uh relentless whispers like we said probably not doing a ton but good to get a creature off the board for when you do control the weak into untamed and miasma so getting back up to check already for riku for that second key um both eddies are still down, so not actually in check because keys are costing 10. Oops, lost the hand for a second there. And we do see the gateway. So uh, that gateway could be coming out next turn. It's not a bad turn at all. Whether you go Logos or Dis, I probably have a fine turn here with that because um, we're not going to see... We will have one ward on board at least with this Garcia, but that's it. Yeah, just ducking under the Cutthroat Research 2. Um... I'm sure that's always in mind for Riku. Uh, this does have the cloaking dongle, which is very relevant because now this Drumble can't fight into that and get the ward off. So that Eddie is going to be staying down regardless. Um, 
Still probably going to be getting some burst here with a Reap uh, Dust Imp. But again, if Riku's trying to stay under that uh, Cuthbert Research, might just play the gateway here and be done. Oh, captures one because of the Ishii. I was trying to figure out why that got an Ember on it for a second, but... So it could just gateway and then play these two after the gateway. Yeah. But no, just going for it. So we'll probably see a pretty quick call back into Logos here for Karen to get that steal. Um, question is, do you play the Neutron Shark here? Probably just to sack itself and kill this uh, Toxin. Ooh, pretty awesome Logos follow-up from uh, Riku, regardless of what Karen does here. Uh, should get into check though, right? Yeah, the chains will be rough, and I think that's one of the big things with Coda. Even if you do have the creature control, it usually costs you a decent amount of efficiency. So I think that's a, another big reason why. Oh, wow. We wild wormhole into a Kirby. That's hilarious. Unfortunately, it doesn't really do anything with his hand, but uh, still good to have out, especially right after seeing the gateway. You basically are now free to go into multiple houses. And we know we have a pretty nice untamed turn. Oh man, you almost wish you had pulled the archives there because then you could nature's call the Eddie and the Kirby play him again for effect, but um, probably trying to set up for just playing around a little bit a second uh, control the week because that's got to be in the back of Karen's mind at this point. But the psychic bug will give you plenty of information if you're Riku, uh, but it's a scary hand. Um, the Song of the Wild coming out on... Well, I guess the Starland's turn doesn't help you too much. We'll probably see Relentless Whispers just hit the Smoko here. Yeah, just to get you some more steel, get a bigger Amber total. Bursting up to 11, but the Eddie's still here. So if you just even call Logos here and use the Tao Tao, you can tax this for plenty. It gives you information, but it's not helpful. I mean, like, information is... You can still tell even by what uh, gets called next. Um, unfortunately for Riku, not having the um, second control of the week does make it a little bit less helpful, but we're going to have that again. So we actually have a couple ways of seeing hands in Riku's deck. Which is probably why he doesn't care that we're watching the hands here either. Riku being an upstanding gentleman there, reminding about the Scrambler Storm. Um... Because I definitely missed that that got played. So uh, that does turn off the Tao Tao Vapors. I don't think you care too much at this point. You're just trying to get some Amber. You're happy to tax for eight because you've got some other options coming. Interesting though, you could have gone into Untamed there. Um, played the Mustic Murmook, tax for another one. We're just gonna see Neurosiphon and Bot booked in. Lots of Amber Control on Riku's side now, so should be a decent burst next turn. But yeah, it's gonna be really close and still not really any good way of dealing with this Eddie. Um, so honestly, we could see Karen go back into Logos, except Logos isn't getting you to check. I think you kind of have to make a decision right now whether you want to go for check or not, but actually not sure any of these options get you to check, uh, which maybe changes what your plans are. Oh, except we have the Untamed. Yeah, I, this is, Riku's gonna have a pretty, pretty big turn here. Oh, you're saying that could kill the Eddie, yeah. Good call. But with this Untamed, or Star Alliance, how big can you go? I guess it'd probably be the Untamed, right? Because then you can play this twice, or just bounce this bot booked and back to hand. I mean, Star Alliance though, like what, what action are you playing? I guess you could play the Tao Tao to do more archiving off of the Kirby, uh, but you're not getting to check. I think forcing I 
I don't know. It's it's definitely a tough call uh, with the information Karen has because you do know that there's still a second control of the week coming too. Um, so kind of getting yourself prepared for that. Uh, and that might be the only thing we can't see. <laughs> we can see everything else, so we can try to think through it all. Uh, what have we not seen yet? Hologramophone is gone. What could it be? Have we seen grasping vines? Yeah. Remote access. Could be remote access, yeah. Now remote access is down here. <laughs> uh... Second Kirby? No, that's already down. Garcia's blaster's gone. Bramble Links? No, Bramble Links is gone. Ishii is gone. Or did that Ishii get... No, Ishii's gone. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Uh, it's not Thorium, it's not Igor? Have we seen Igor? Yeah, I've seen Igor. Yeah, I don't I don't have a clue. I've seen both Garcias. Grasping Vines was used like turn one. Have we seen Twin Bolt? It's Twin Bolt. We have not seen Twin Bolt from Karen's side. Okay. <laughs> we got that. Uh, which is not a super impactful card, right? Um, so really, you have to expect to have to stop the key next turn uh, with Untamed. Which means basically you have to they have to not get to seven so i think if you're karen you have to go with the information you have you have to go to check here um because you know if they get three amber and one of those ambers includes uh control the week you just lose i guess they have to kill the eddie too unless you pull your archives oh man yeah it's a very tough choice for karen here I, this is i am not surprised at all She's taking her time on it. A uh, very, very intense decision here. Um, really hard to know the best way to go with the information you have. Let's see what else we haven't seen from Riku's side. It's just going to be hard to tell because there's so many copies of everything. Uh... Okay, so Karen is going into Untamed. Taking the archives. So I think play is hope they don't have control of the week, and if they do, they can't get to seven. Uh, what can you regrowth here? Honestly, just the Bramble Links, except you're not going to get a Reap this turn, so Bramble Links does not come in for value. Molfin could do it, but if uh, Riku gets Dust Imps down, the Molfins are actively bad for you because they can kill your things with stealing and then kill their own Dust Imps with the extra damage. Uh, so we regrowth. Oh, uses Mustic to regrowth Mab the map. Wow, I like that. Uh, so choosing to not kill the Doc Booked in here. And then you're going to Nature's Call. At least Mab the Mad. Sorry, I pulled the hand back up. I think since Riku's done with chains, you're probably okay bouncing this too. Um... Yeah, 
bounces the eddy. Makes sense. Uh, it's not doing anything anymore without archives. If you get control of the weak, the eddy doesn't help you anyways. So you basically just are hoping they don't get to seven next turn or they can't stop this amber anyways. So we get to nine. And Riku can deal with nine, but not with a control of the weak. Uh, control of the weak isn't in hand anyways. So I do see quick shadows call here. It's going to be a lot of stealing, um, but Karen's going to be able to reset a little bit. And we do see a draw through too for Karen. So this Igor is going to be live again. Uh, so these Eddies could see second Eddie or something like that. Um, could do a lot. Uh, Riku now seeing what he's up against in terms of this Logos hand. I really like the call from Karen here. Uh, I think win or lose, this was a really, really important turn to know what to do with. Um, I think it was probably, with the information she had, probably the best call. But we'll see if it's going to be enough to get past this huge Shadows turn. Should go to 8 here, and then we're going to capture 3. We do see the control of the week now, along with some other dis control. Not ideal to see. No way to kill these dust imps, but we'll see if Karen remembers to put the Eddie on the outside so it's not weak to the hand of dis. I guess you could kill your own dust imp with the hand of dis. Neutron Shark is a pretty awesome pickup there. We have a second Eddie too. Uh, so this is going to become really quickly a very difficult board for um, Riku to deal with. Trick is... Oh no, Karen is getting to check because we're going to be able to kill the old Bruno with the shark. And we're getting three in archives, so just one Eddie is keeping Riku off check, even if he is able to kill this one. Uh... But yeah, Riku's not going to have a way to stop this key here for Karen. So that should be game. Uh, we have the lone uh, dimension door, door in archives for Karen, uh, or for Riku with one logo screech on board, not gonna be quite enough. Yeah, that draw was brutal for R Riku. Uh, the neutron shark was basically game, right? Because if you don't kill that, uh, If you don't kill the old Bruno, you're not getting to check there, and we can see uh, if you're Riku, you can at least kill one of these, um, which will get you to check. And yeah, it would have been game the other way, right? Because we don't see any way for Karen to take Riku off nine. Yeah, because this turn isn't quite enough. Wow. Yeah. What'll be the drawn card? I'm not sure I understand your question there, uh, Cloggin. Because, like, we could look at the board state right now. Say the old Bruno is still there with a three amber on it. Karen doesn't get to check. We see one of the Eddies die um, with the hand. You go to nine with the control of the week, and you go to untamed. Oh, what would booked, Bob booked and have pulled? Uh, could have been the Neuro Siphon, but at 8 Amber, that wouldn't have been... Or 7 Amber, it wouldn't have been enough. Yeah. Wow, man. Awesome game, though. That's that's why we're doing this. <laughs> I'd love to catch a few more of those, because... Uh, yeah. Really cool stuff. I love it.